Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are in the world, and welcome back to CTV if you've been watching us all day and welcome if it's the first show that you're joining us for um, today as well. It is masterclass time uh, where we are going to be uh, doing all things stamping. Um, this is an interactive channel as always so any questions you want to ask we're going to take it back to basics for you. Um, you're more than welcome to uh, get interactive with us um, and comment either via your Facebook or via your YouTube whichever one you're watching uh, and comment on there and we'll talk about a little bit more of those comments in a second or two however we're going to do a few uh, for those people that may have not been joining us where have you been did you see the fabulous craft along with our so us sewing craft along can I just say you're not paper crafting sewing uh, craft along with our lovely Becky absolutely amazing a real she did so much in that show um, just blew me away um, and I really really enjoyed it and I can't wait to see the end result on her Facebook lives later on this week um, but we've also had the new launches as well because this is the second Saturday of the month and every second Saturday of any month we are doing our sewing Saturday uh, where it's all about all things sewists however we've changed it up a little bit for this last show today uh, because she's also a very multi-talented person so i'm going to give a little bit of shout out to um, an all-rounder and the craft expert today for those who haven't been watching already is of course the very wonderful the very talented the very beautiful Becky Swan, good evening, oh, Becky. Oh, no, yeah, it's just getting better and better. These comments <laughs> you're giving me, I mean, you're getting, getting me quite emotional. I feel, like, I feel like I've won an Oscar, you know, when they go like this because they're trying to. But stop would you me. like to thank first then in your Oscar oh, exception speech? You, oh, bless the team you. here, and Mr. Cadbury for helping oh. me through those bad days. <laughs> <laughs> But we have got a great day lined up. Well, I say a great day, a great show lined up for you. Yeah. Now, of course, it is our fourth year anniversary. Again, where have you been if you didn't know that? Our fourth year anniversary at Crafters TV, where we're celebrating four years of being bringing you education, bringing you inspiration, and bringing you all these fabulous shows. Can't believe we're in this fourth year of that. Um, absolutely amazing. And because it's the fourth year, we've got a pretty special event going off. You can head over to the website. We've actually added new lines as well. Um, into there but we're giving away up to £250,000 worth of products uh, during this event. The event finishes on Monday at the 11th with myself and Craig um, but so you've got every opportunity to still take advantage of that giveaway and today I think is this right producer Nick? Three, two, twenty-three thousand pounds worth we're giving away today, wow. uh, which is just sensational. It really is, and well worth going over to that website and checking out. What you're looking for is the little green stickers that say 250k giveaway. Um, oh, sorry, 250k event is what they actually say. Head over to that website, and we'll perhaps show you that later on in the show. Um, <clears throat> also. The giveaway doesn't stop there because we've got a prize lined up that we're going to be drawing out on the last show on Monday as well, which we're super excited about. My myself and Craig will be there uh, drawing out a very special person's name who's going to be a winner of £200 or $200, which I think is fabulous. We're going to give you that. We're going to add it into your account. You can spend it to your heart's content across that website. And I think that's a pretty special prize. We've already had quite a lot of people in there because for every single show that we do here, um, right up until Monday night, um, anybody who comments via YouTube or via Facebook gets entered into that draw and somebody, or I should I say somebody, my lovely Rach will be the one that's doing it, will be drawing out someone's name I'll be writing it onto a little star and popping it into that giveaway bag. Um, so this is really your opportunity to get very interactive. If you've never commented before, perhaps now's the time to comment. You don't even have to ask a question. You just need to say, hi. That's all you can do. But of course, it is interactive. If there are any questions you want to ask, absolutely ask away. Now, I'm not here on my own because we've already introduced the lovely Becky. We've got our producer, Nick, who's in my ear, along with James. James, I can hear some hey, hey. <laughs> and the lovely Sam. Do you know, we've just had a very beautiful tea. I don't know if you follow us on social. <clears throat> I posted a couple of pictures because um, 
I've sampled the delicacy of the northeast, which is a palm oil. It's good, isn't it? Oh, it's just divine. Absolutely. I mean, it was massive. Yeah. We added the small as well. Yeah. I dread to think what the large looked like. Yeah. Uh, but absolutely delicious. Did you enjoy yours, Becky? I did. But I've only managed. I've only managed to eat half of it. Can I have the other half when I get home? <laughs> so otherwise, I think I'd be. I, you know, when you, when you have a really big meal and then you just feel really lethargic, don't you? And I don't want to have a. Look. <laughs> so um, I'll be finishing that off when I get home a bit later on. Now, I honestly thought it was the most divine thing. It was beautiful. So let me know what you've been having for your teas or possibly, probably, I'm going to say, maybe lunch, maybe breakfast for some because it's still early, isn't it? I think it's still at 10 a.m., yeah? Do you call it tea? Uh, so I call it, um, where I'm from, breakfast, dinner and tea. That's so, what we say. So what do you say, Becky? I say breakfast, lunch and subs. And subs? Oh, no, supper's a late night snack. I don't really, I'm making that up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, said that, I said that to my daughter. She went, when are we all doing it? Could it subs? <laughs> no, dinner. Dinner is my evening meal. Unless you're having um, high tea. You know, you've had like a big roast on a Sunday and then you have tea in the evening. Um, that would be my tea. But it would be like sandwiches and um, quiche. <laughs> I'm in tomorrow, yes, that's right. Um, so normally on a Sunday when I'm in, when George was in, we would have afternoon tea because um, George had a, quite, quite an amazing addiction to um, afternoon tea. He, loved, he, loved, he loves afternoon tea. And, and normally I'd, I'd say on a Sunday we do afternoon tea, but I haven't got a car. I didn't, I didn't drive up, so I can't go and do any, any food shopping, I'm afraid. So I don't think there will be any afternoon tea. Sorry. Oh, Nicola's well. not coming in now. <laughs> Oh, well. I'm not here, so I won't be sampling anything because um, probably be send a takeaway of some kind because I'm down the road tomorrow. So, um, what have you all been having? What have you been having for your dinner and your teas and your lunches and your suppers and everything else that's in between brunch yeah. and all those kind of things? Lunch. Let us know. Get interactive. Great chance, actually, to get interactive yeah. and let me know and get in with a chance to be in that giveaway later on. Now, we are going to get things started here. Oh, a big shout out to our lovely Rachel as well because um, <clears throat> I realised I don't think I properly said. Sorry, Rach. Sorry if you're watching. Um, but yes, our Rachel's the one that's going to feed those comments through. So get chatting away. All things food. I'm nice and full, so it's not going to bother me when you start talking about delicious foods. Although that might be wrong, actually, because I might do when you talk about lovely foods that you want. Um, it? Yeah, it does. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, let's get cracking because we've got loads lined up for you. Lots of amazing deals as well, as always, as you come to expect with Crafters TV. Um, and I'm going to start with, <clears throat> now, we didn't feel it was appropriate during the sewing shows. But you know that we have a weekday wonder. You know how successful the weekday wonder was. Good grief. Didn't even last, I think, midweek and it had gone. Um, <clears throat> we do a week end wonder a weekend wonder but because of obviously it's been the sewing specials in the first two shows we thought we'll leave it to tonight because we do have a weekend wonder deal for you <clears throat> which is da, da, da. Da, da. i'm like that, that, that. click of the fingers <laughs> click of the fingers and there it will be um a mystery is that the mystery oh dear me my eyes a mystery stamping wait a minute <clears throat> A masterclass, there we go, a masterclass stamping mystery bag. Look at the price on the screen. Oh, I'm actually blown away, actually. $29.96 or $43.84. Tell me how much we're saving, Nick. Seven... <laughs> 72 percent that's wow. amazing what a cracking deal this is the purple price the purple box price is what you will get if you are in club platinum or brand new to club inspired today and you've signed up for the very first time you get a taster of that 20 percent discount 23.97 or 35 dollars or seven um nicola <clears throat> have i got to keep it a mystery can i can i can i go in Oh, fabulous. Do you know what? I think I'll show you. Maybe, yeah, I'm going to show you. Tell me what. Do you want it? Do you want to see what I've got in this yes. bag? Yes. Yeah, yes. Come on, shout. Let me know. Do you want to see what's in this bag? I'll show you some of the items that we've got in the bag. Um, I love the mix and match uh, stamp to this. It's a fabulous dimensional stamp set that enable you to create different looks simply by using stamp one, 
and two together or stamp one and three together or stamp two and three together can you see them all here lined up at the bottom and it is this gorgeous beautiful butterfly bouquet it really is a fantastic stamping system where you are going to get lots of different looks out of that one stamp set that's got three really large stamps in so we've got the um butterfly bouquet let's have a look oh i love the layering stamps we were just talking about this we were we, we were talking about layering stamps yeah. just before that's uncanny didn't even know what we're in this bag until now uh, where we have got the fabulous floral arrangement and you've also got your summer garden now these stamps were specifically made when we brought out the um pigment opaque ink pads um, so it's lovely to see these in the mystery not so mystery bag in there and a lot on there as well oh my goodness now you see a stamping mystery bag i've just seen some dyes in here what may be sold out you're oh, kidding no. me right i'm not surprised with that kind of offer. well i'm just going to tell you oh no oh no becky <laughs> Is this, is this right? Is this coming over in a minute? Oh my God. Uh, I have not even gone a percentage into the bag. <laughs> it's right on the screen, literally sold out. So what does wow. that mean? Don't scream and shout, Becky, it's all. It's sold out. Sold out. What happened to me? Weekend wonder, this is meant to be here all weekend. Well, it's. Well, do you know what? I blame ourselves because we've been telling everybody all day to go over to the... <laughs> we've been telling everybody all day to go over to the yeah. website and go and shop. Um, you canny little things, you. You've already been over there and you've bought it. I can't believe I'm saying that a couple of minutes into the show. Two, th three items into the bag. Um, so we're going to have to get rid of that. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's get rid of it, James. Are you ready? A little bit of... Oh, James. <laughs> James. <laughs> What's he like? What is he like? You get the gist. Um, do you know what I'm going to do? Um, I'm going to uh, read out a few comments and then I'm going to throw it to our Becky because we do have things that are in stock. Um, so we have got some things. We better have Becky, otherwise this is going to be a really awkward next two hours. <laughs> um, so our Rachel's popped on here. It's still 28 degrees where she is. Wow. We're half an hour's drive away from Peterborough and it's unbearable. We're quite cool now, aren't we? We are. Yeah. My husband, um, uh, my husband says it's hot and a few friends down in London said it's 32 degrees in London at the moment. Wow. So wherever you are in the world, I hope you stay safe. Plenty of sun cream on. I mean, 6, 6 15 nearly. Um, still, still some sun yeah. can be out there and you still have to take care of yourself. So make sure you do. Uh, Mrs. Sillins 333, very excited for this show. No, I will learn tons. Yes, you absolutely will. Um, Anna Gosling Smith says, afternoon all. Oh, let's get stamping. Yay, we will do, I promise you. Uh, Amali uh, Batiste. I think that says um, again everyone I'm hoping to learn more today have lots of unanswered questions hoping to s fill in some of the blanks watching this masterclass Lit literally if you've got any questions or anything that you might be able to scratch or you want to ask don't think don't be afraid you've got two craft experts here that can help you today um, obviously uh, it's a turn of our Becky who's going to be taking you through this masterclass but definitely if you want to ask anything ask away uh, Brenda K Tatch uh, Tatchell hi again I'm having a lovely Saturday hope you are too we are actually it's been a lovely day it's been really nice and it's lovely on a weekend i always love working at the weekend we said this to becky earlier because there's nobody here oh, so we're I all by ourselves and it's so I quiet it and quite peaceful sad there's no one here do you really yeah i do because i don't I'm, I'm not often in during the week um, and oh. i'm only really up uh, only really up on the weekends and i don't i you know there's lots of people that people say do you know so and so no nope, never met them so they're, they're, they're here during the week Oh. So, and, and the cafe's never open at the weekend. That, that's the main reason. Well, to be fair, it. she's sunning herself at the minute. Oh, Christine, I mean, yeah. how very dare she? How very rude. I felt like commenting on a post that I saw earlier on uh, Instagram. I was like, get your bottom back over here soon because we're missing <laughs> you all. Uh, <clears throat> missing the Christina, of course, yeah. not just the baking and the cooking. Um, Tara Wade uh, says, good afternoon from Texas. I'm so grateful for a wonderful channel to watch, to not only purchase the best products, but to chat, laugh along, and with the best people. Happy fourth ha uh, anniversary, CCTV. Thank you very much, Tara. That's lovely. Um, loads of people still commenting. Joan uh, says she's looking forward to uh, getting some tips because she's not very good at stamping. So this is the show for you, uh, Joan. Stay tuned. Uh, Mrs. Simmons 333 says, Debbie, you're top is gorgeous love it thank you very much it's uh it's oh, a dress like it's my little dress thank mm, you very, very much nice. you're very kind um charlotte everett very posh becky luncheon luncheon yeah, yeah. 
very posh. Yeah, fancy. She's very posh, I Becky. She's really very posh. What mind me saying? But she's really posh. In public, yes. I eat my cake with a cake fork, but in private, like that. <laughs> <laughs> I always wash my hands before. Uh, Laurie says pizza, wi pizza and wings for lunch watching Penn State football. Oh. Um, Order order 29 on YouTube some pizza for dinner. That's what Sam had. He had pizza. Yeah. He didn't have a pomo. And James, I really feel for him. He didn't have anything. No, he just he just sat and just watched. And I felt really guilty eating. <laughs> There's a special word for that. What's that? There's a special word for that. People that watch others eat. Is there? I can't think what it's called. Um, I, I know I sent it to Michelle because Michelle quite often just stands and watches me eat my food. <laughs> uh, but yes, yeah, so there's a special, there's an actual word, an English word that means somebody that watches other people eat. Oh, well, let's find out. Google it. Google it for us, Nick. Um, Charlotte Everett says, I call it both dinner or tea. I think it's because my mum calls it dinner and my nanny calls it tea. Uh, just use them interchangeably. Yeah. Absolutely. You can call it whatever you want. Food is food, yeah. no matter what time of the day it is. Um, Charlene has just finished watching the Builder Block Quilt Along. You inspired me. Isn't that lovely? Uh, she inspired me, Charlene, let me tell you. Uh, Sarah Brooke on Facebook. Hi, Debbie Becky and team. Really love watching Masterclass shows. I learn so, always learn so much, especially looking forward to learning about stamping as I'm quite new to it. Sarah, this is the show for you, absolutely. Um, just had some, oh, just had some salmon and salad with a jack of potato, Andrew. Oh, nice. Andrew, I love, I love, love salmon, love jack of potatoes, both together, a dish made in heaven. Um, Sonia Parker on Facebook says, I've really loved watching all the fabulous sewing projects today with you two fantastic ladies. Having only recently come out of hospital, you have really cheered me up and lifted my spirits. Aww. Oh, look, do you know, Sonia, that's lovely. Thank you so much. Do you know, that's what it's all about, isn't it, this yeah. little community that we have here. Four years going strong and still going strong, and we're hoping to be celebrating eight, 12, 16, however long, however long you'll have us. Um, but it is lovely, and I'm really pleased that we've been able to put a little smile on your face, and I'm hoping you're healing very well as well. Um, Jocelyn F on YouTube, brand new, says, so excited, first time I've caught a live show. Oh. Yay, woohoo! Um, oh, we've got a couple of questions. So, yeah. uh, oh, Lillian, Lillian's yeah. asking. Yeah. Becky, how often will you be in now? That's a good oh, question. I, to be honest, it's different every month. I never know, I never know month to month. Um, so, um, I will always do the um, Paper Cross show on um, a Sunday, on Sunday night, so Saturday night on the second month, uh, second Saturday of the month, um, because obviously I'm up here doing the um, sewing shows um, during the day. I don't know. Um, it, it's, it's pretty much, I do couple, two or three days up here, um, then I'm home for a few days, and then I'm back up here. So it's pretty much, I think I'm up here sort of every, every 10 days, something like that for a couple of days. Um, but every, every month it's slightly different. So um, who knows? Um, so I'd have, I can't even remember what I'm supposed to be doing next month. Um, I've got no idea. I know what we're doing next month, Becky. Oh, well, we, we're, we're celebrating, celebrating something. We're celebrating uh -huh. the birthday. Company birthday is what we're celebrating next month. It's also my birthday next month. <gasps> Guess what? Guess what? 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 It's what? also someone else's birthday. We didn't do it in the second show. We did it in the first one, but should we do it now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I feel like she just needs a little mention. So you all know our Michelle McCarthy, our lovely, talented Michelle, beautiful McCarthy. Um, it's her birthday today. And so we're going to go a little bit of a round addition for those people that might have missed out earlier. Are you ready with your best yeah. singing voice? Are you ready, guys, in the gallery? Yeah. <coughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Michelle. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Happy birthday, Michelle. I hope you're having a lovely day. I've seen the roses. I've seen the cake. Oh, I didn't get to see the cake. Look at her socials on Instagram. Oh, the good. cake is epic. Ben McCarthy is a genius when it comes to baking as well. Uh, so I hope you're having a lovely day. Um, I'll see you on Saturday. I can't wait. Right, let's get down to business. This yep. is a masterclass. This is a stamping special. This is back to basics as well, um, where we're going to take you through each stage of them. And we've also got some lovely um, items on the show for you as well. And my favourite, which I know Beck is really excited to get started with, is the gorgeous, cute animal stamp sets. These are beautiful. They're a stamp and a die combination. You have got your lovely character edibles here called Pride and Joy. I 
absolutely love these some really nice sentiments on there as well as well as that over the edge feel but also you can cut these out and use them separately as i've seen with many people do across um, those crafty channels of ours um the next one is called you make me happy e-u-e -E. you make me happy like the play on the word there absolutely gorgeous stamp super cute and of course each one has got its over the edge die so you can create it over the edge of a card uh, positively perfect another gorgeous one for all you feline and uh, dog lovers out there super cute and again the play on the words and the puns with the words are just absolutely fabulous um <laughs> I'm nuts about you, Becky. Oh, you're my dearest friend. <laughs> <laughs> These are so cute where you've got your lovely little squirrel there and the little deer. Absolutely super cute. And then the one that we haven't got boards made up for because this was an exclusive uh, that we've been able to bring to you. And so I'm going to show you the fabulous Ogs and Kisses. It's my favourite. I absolutely love it. Um, just the piggy just just it just brings so much joy to my face every time i see them um absolutely lovely stamps and dies uh, that we're not so long ago um launched here over at crafters tv at uh, the price that's seen on the screen is the 34 pounds or 44 dollars but take it right down to that purple box the lowest you're going to pay and we're all i think we're holding the price aren't we uh, nick if i remember rightly for the launch at uh, 27 pounds 20 or 35 dollars 20. i for one can't wait to see what our lovely becky is going to be doing with these uh, so Becky take it away okay well I've got a few samples to show you before I get started but I, I I'm absolutely I love these I think they're, they're just the cutest little thing so this is the hogs and kisses and as MW um, was saying you can use them as um, an edible or you could use them and cut them out completely which is what we've done here um, absolutely gorgeous this one um, next one we've got is um, with the little um, cows and the little fluffy um, lambs then we have that pride and joy one here with the tigers and lions. Um, next thing I've got to show you here is those deer and the little squirrels, a little shaker card here, um, looking absolutely gorgeous. This one in particular, and I love the fact that we've given you extra stamps in this. So we've given you stamps like um, the, the bowl, the basket, the um, roll of twine and the bone in order for you to create your own backgrounds. Um, and then this one up here, again with those um, little um, cows, I was going to call them moo cows then, cows <laughs> and um, your little sheep, really, really gorgeous. But I have to say, my favourite one of all, and funnily, you should say that, that about the um, hogs and kisses, because that is my absolute favourite, and I, I really like this one. I, as I was working with this at the weekend, weekend during the week, um, I thought about my niece. So my niece, um, is her birthday, and she used to have um, little guinea pigs. Um, and I just remember them being quite, quite squeaky and quite cute. So I thought I'd do um, a card using these because I, I was thinking about her um, here. And you're going to get your um, dies, your little shaped dies. You're going to get your selection of stamps. So you've got each stamp will fit inside one of those dies. But you've also got extra dies, extra stamps in here. You've got a couple of sentiments, but you've also got little embellishments. So we've got some leaves and some little trotter marks in here. And each one has slightly different um, stamps. Um, so we're going to get started. I've got my card blank, which is a five and three quarter um, card blank, um, square card blank. And I've just drawn a line in pencil um, along from um, diagonally across. You could use um, your um, heat erasable pens for this. That would work perfectly well. Um, and I'm going to be popping my dies along here um, to create this um, kind of diagonal um, fold card. Um, right, let me find my plates. I'll pop that on here and then we get my dies so I want to use the piggy piggy I hate people that use little no small children words for animals but piggies I think are an exception I did try and say moo cows <laughs> you're absolutely I'm right but I hate people, people doing it producer it really gets on my nerves when people do it but um, yeah, moo cows and pig, pig, piggies. I really wanted a piggy um, at home. And my husband said, we can't have a pig in London. And um, <laughs> I then went and got loads of um, information which says I could, I could have a pig in London. Um, but you have to take, when you take it for a walk, you have to go on an approved walk. You can't just take it for a walk anywhere. Um, you do walk your pigs, yeah. But you can't leave them at home all the time. They get lonely. <laughs> there you go. So we're just popping these. I'm just, <coughs> you can see you've got at the very bottom, we've almost got little feet um, on these dies. And I just want those on that um, diagonal line. So I'm just placing everything 
in the right order, get them in the right place, and I'm going to put some tape, got oh, sticky hands, and put some tape to hold them all in place. Um, so using our low tack tape just to secure them. Now, I would love my own piggy, um, but I'm not allowed one, <laughs> which is very sad. Um, and then my children were like, well, what are we going to do with it when it gets older? And I said, well, what do you do with piggies when they get old? You know, they go to the special piggy farm in the sky, don't they? <laughs> And they get really old, but they, um, apparently my dog wouldn't have liked piggies. <laughs> uh, never mind. One day I'll get a piggy of my own. I'd love to live on a farm. Would you? Yeah. I'd love I think I, I like the idea, but I don't like the mucking out bit. I think I think I'd have to employ someone if I ever oh, yeah. lived on a farm. I think I'd have to employ someone to do all that. I think I like the idea of the animals, but I just don't like the idea of the clear out. Well, I think I'd be a little bit like. Do, did you watch any of the? Um, What's his name? Um, oh, God. Are you talking about Jeremy oh, Clarkson? I'm yeah, talking about Jeremy Clarkson. Oh, so I, I found that absolutely fascinating. And he was saying um, that actually all of the things that he did on that farm showed people how difficult farming is. I mean, how much work goes into making, well, not even making any profit, just breaking even. Um, and I think, you know, whilst he is somewhat of a gentleman farmer, you know, he has got... No, hundreds of acres that somebody else is maintaining for him. I just thought it was really quite eye-opening how, um, you know, how, how much hard work it was. You know, we think of it all being quite idyllic, but actually it's a lot of hard work. Um, I did have a friend who had, a, um, had goats, and um, she used to get up in the morning. We were doing a course together in London, and she'd get up in the morning at about um, 4 o'clock in the morning so she could feed the goats before she got her children ready for school and then um, come into town um, for our course that started at 10. And I just kept thinking, gosh, I was tired just by getting up in the morning, <laughs> and she was getting up super early to milk her goats. Um, very, very difficult. Right, so I'm just gently pulling away that tape um, from these dies. And then we're going to lift that up and do the same with all of these here. You, um, what would be your favourite animal, favourite farmyard animal, Debbie? Oh, favourite farmyard animal. Because I, I know the zoo animal is a giraffe. Oh, yeah. Because uh, I absolutely love them. But a, a farm animal. Yeah. I think I'd probably go with a pig, actually. Yeah. I think I'd say a pig because um, I know they're a bit smelly and I know they like rolling around in their own muck. <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> producer Nick's sort of kids uh, but seriously I, I just I just love them I love watching them and they're very intelligent animals aren't they they are mm. yeah I think yeah. They're, they're quite cute I like the um, the way piggies are piggies. piggies she's at it again I know I know she's at it again I know piggies and I'd like one of those little handbag pigs you know the little tiny weeny ones that you could fit not that I'd want to put a pig in my handbag but you know that you could fit inside a small bag but they, they, they're micro pigs weren't they they were really fashionable a few years ago. Yeah. I'm getting a micro pig. Um, That's what my daughter well, wanted, a little micro pig. I think um, there, was, there were quite a few cases where people were being sold what they thought was a micro pig, but actually it was just a, a piglet. Um, and then they were <laughs> en ending up with these enormous cows um, afterward. Cows? Sows. Not sows. <laughs> oh dear. All right, so let's pop that over there. Uh, there you go. So I've cut those out, so you can see those. And now I just want to use um, a, a pair of scissors or a knife just to cut through across here. So I'm just going to look for, where are you? Um, need a piece. Can't find a, oh, there's a ruler. Can't see for looking. So <laughs> I'm just going to line up my ruler along that line. And I'm using that as a bit of a guide. Um, I'm just going to cut through. Here. So do you prefer a craft knife at this stage? I do, but I, yeah. don't, I don't prefer these craft knives. I like the ones with the long blade. Yes, the long blade one is the one that you would use for any straight edge ones. Yeah. Is there not one there? No, there's um, not one there. I've only got little tiny do you want me to go So that's the swivel one. I've Let me go and see if I can find one for you, Becky. I'll, cu I'll cut the sides with a pair of scissors for the moment because, yeah, I don't, you definitely want to use one of the straight edge ones. Um, that. We're just hearing that Tracy's got a bar now. Really? Cassie or Kathy? Cassie. Cassie uh, the bar now. I borrowed 
have one of Sarah's craft knives that <gasps> remind me to put back on the desk, otherwise Liam will have me guts Thank for Thank you very much. We're getting and to it doesn't something. have a top on it, so just okay. be careful there. Right. Right. Thank, Thank you. you very much for that. You're and very so welcome. we're just going to cut in between those little pieces, Anna. And then that one as well. And then there we go. So we've cut those little pieces out, and that is going to form um, our little... Um, card. Now we want to use um, our stamping platform because um, I want to stamp all of those um, little creatures in the right place. So I'm going to pop that there and take my stamps. Now I would just want to put that there like that. And then I'm going to place my little stamps just in those places. Now, this is, um, I, I did find this a little bit of a challenge just to get them exactly in the right place. Yeah. And um, so I found the best way of doing this was, that's the wrong one, um, was just for lining them up like this. Yeah. And then I was twisting it around so I could see it from all angles. Oh, um, Just to get them in like the that. right place. And hopefully they will all be where they should be. I do like that, yeah, just to sim twisting it round to make sure, yeah? yeah. That's, a good, that's a good little top tip there as well. And I like how you've angled your cardstock so it doesn't get trapped under the legs. That's yes. clever as well. Yeah. So I'm going to use um, some um, alcohol-proof um, ink on here. And I'm using the black because actually I thought the black worked quite well. I did use some of the grey as well, but I think the black um, works well for here. It gives you a crisp line, doesn't it? it a does. crisp, clear line. And I'm just making sure everything's in the right place before I place it down. And then I'm just pushing above and press down a couple of times just to make sure that that has all taken. Not quite there. There we go. Get rid of those. Let's pop those little stamps there. Stamping platform as well, oh. because I know you do a bit of both crafts. Yeah, do you, you know? Do, do you know what I didn't realise? I'd bought years ago when I was um, doing paper craft. Um, you know, having a go at paper craft, buying sort of magazines and things like that. And there was somewhere where they'd given you um, some stamps in a magazine, and they were like this. And I was like, well, what do I do with that? And so <laughs> I was like pushing it down and pressing it, and it, it just wouldn't work. It didn't. It, no, obviously it doesn't work. That's what, not what they're made for. Um, I didn't realise what you had to do. And so um, I think I've seen something, and someone had a, um, like a rocker block, but it was, obviously wasn't a, wasn't a rocker block, and I didn't know what that was. And so I used a little plastic um, box, you know, like a Tupperware box, oh, yes. and I used that instead, yeah. which was OK at a push. But when I got that, I was like, oh, my goodness. I, I didn't realise quite how difficult I'd made my life. Yeah. Um, by you know sort of not having a stamping platform being able to sort of re-stamp before um, made a massive difference but well, so I think we do have them in stock still if oh, I do get producer Nicola to check but I think we do have the eight by eight I think we've got there's three, there's three different sizes but I do know that I think the eight by eight um, is most definitely still in stock with the magnetic base as well oh, oh look there you go mm -hmm. just take a little look underneath there uh, and that is what was that price again but, uh, £17.49 or $27.96 today. So I think there's a bit of a saving there as well. In fact, that's, I was just going to say, that's a 30% saving on that one. Loving that. And it is a hero tool. You'll often hear all of us refer to it as a hero tool. It's one that I think every, every person should have because it makes stamping so much easier. Uh, so now we're doing a spot of colouring. A spot of colouring, yeah. So um, I, um, I'm just using my Spectrum Wire. Um, pens and I am, I'm, I'm, I am coming them in to look like my niece's guinea pigs. Um, so I didn't, I didn't know Nicola you had any guinea pigs. And Nicola's saying, why do you not, not look like my guinea pigs? I didn't know you had any. Uh, Nicola, what are your guinea pigs called? Luna and Sandy. Is that because one is white and one is yellow? Uh, Nicola didn't name either of them. <laughs> you rescue them what from the side of the road? Oh. So Aww. producer Nicola is a as a guinea pig saver. She looked after so a, 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 one of her friends moved and couldn't take them with her. So Nicola rescued them and has had them ever since. 
Yeah, ah, they get really lonely, that makes don't sense. they? Yeah, that makes sense. So for anybody, obviously you can't hear what Nicola's saying in our ear, but uh, rescued one from a friend, but didn't want it to be alone. So she got another one to keep him company. Ah, that's so sweet. Actually, are they I he or she? Both girls, sorry. I think they're sorry, quite cute. Yeah. Um, I like the noises they make. I think they're really sweet. <laughs> Hello. I've had a couple of questions, Becky, if I can ask oh, while, yeah. you're, while you're doing a spot of colour in there. Because you are using, are they our tri blends you're using? They are tri blends, yeah. yep. Um, uh, the question that I've got asked here, because Susan Griffiths on YouTube has put, Becky, I can see you use a stamping platform for this. Would you prefer rocker blocks for single stamps? I have not tried a rocker block, just wondering. I wouldn't use the rocker blocks for these because I think you need to sort of. Um, fiddle around and get your stamp in exactly the right place um, in order to do these unless you're going to be cutting them out afterwards um, you know some people die cut and then stamp or vice versa i think if you're going to be stamping first oh sorry die cutting first and then stamping i wouldn't use a rocker block rocker blocks but if i was just doing one or two stamps so if i was using like the trotters for example if i was going to pop those somewhere um, i would use the rocker block for that because then it's easier to sort of manipulate and put them in different places and plus that would multiple be my stamping as well isn't it when you're yeah. doing that multiple stamping uh yeah that's a that's a good one that one um michelle mccarthy <laughs> Who's Michelle? Who's that? She did. Did, the, did she miss the singing? Yes, she, she did. did. Twice. Did tune in twice. We've sang it here today, Be uh, Becky, Michelle. Twice we sang it. I think Rachel gave her a little prompt for a message there. Uh, uh, but yeah, we sang it twice. Did you miss it? Um, go and rewind back to the beginning, and you'll hear us singing uh, rather loudly, and everybody else is joining in as well. We did sing very beautifully. We did. We sang yeah. in harmony. Yeah, harmony with each other. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, she did miss the singing. Um, I'm new to Crafters Companion, says Lorraine Crook. Oh, I'm so excited, managed to get one of the mystery bags, you lucky oh. devil, you. Goodness me, that disappeared so fast. Um, I'm, I'm assuming the stamping mystery bag, the one that just went like that, um, to go with my Gemini 2, which I'm waiting to be delivered. Oh, oh. this is going to be great, Lorraine, when you get yours. Uh, thank you for all the learning available on your shows, uh, Lorraine from Buckinghamshire. Thank you. Oh, that's great. Um, Wanda says the animal set is adorable. Absolutely, uh, and, and on Facebook, um, I said once when I was visiting my daughter in Pittsburgh, there was a man walking an enormous pig on a leash in the middle of a park. That's something you don't see every day. That's something I've never seen. Never seen that, Anne, but that's, um, <laughs> that's hilarious. And she's also said that her grandparents kept sheep and ducks and one year grandpa got a bunch of calves to raise and then she put sheep are really dumb. I mean, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Talk about dissing the sheep, Anne. <laughs> what has that sheep done to you? <laughs> oh, poor sheep. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Uh, Lynn um, on YouTube, the stamping platform really is a game changer. It absolutely is. It uh, transformed my life. Um, I remember when Leanne showed me the prototype and I was like, oh my God, this is exciting. Can't wait to get hold of it. I'll tell you, it's been a total game changer um, ever since. So I totally agree with you, Lynn, on that one as well. Um, Zoe Carver on YouTube, I got this one and all the other animal stamp ed edge stamps out on the table at the moment. Got to make a birthday card for my brother-in-law. He's a grown adult. Uh, just can't decide which one to use. That's what I love about these. They're not just for kids, these. No. You can, you can think of somebody in your life uh, that you're gonna be able to uh, do. I love it. I'm loving your little pink there, coloring. So pink. We, had, we had a little bit of a giggle earlier because I only have the original set of tri blends and the pink is this pink which I think is a bit of a boiled ham kind of pink <laughs> so I said it my my piggy looks like he's a bit sunburned um, he looks like he's had you know too much sun he's had too many sangrias um, on holiday because he just looks a little bit <laughs> a little bit hot um, in this pink color uh, but he, he's all right he's a happy pig um, so I think we're, we're fine with that. So I'm just going to finish um, just colouring him here in <laughs> roughly here. But you see what I mean? He, just, he looks like a hot pig. That'll um, be me when I get back <laughs> from the holiday. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm just going to um, do this one here very quickly. So I'm just going to do a little um, colouring in around here. Jocelyn on um, YouTube said, are those alcohol-based markers that you're using, Becky? They are. They're, these are our tri-blends. These are the original set. Um, they're not the extended set. Um, and I just think they are absolutely, they are the, my go-to um, kind of um, pen for me to use. I love these. I think they're gorgeous. <coughs> I'm 
I'll just put a couple more. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a tickle there because I'm just going to read another comment out for you. Um, Charlotte Everett on YouTube says, I love, love, love my stamping platform. I prefer the rocker blocks when doing backgrounds when I'm repeating stamping as I can move straight on without repositioning the stamp each time. Absolutely perfect. That is exactly what Becky was just saying. That's what she would use hers for as well. And, and I, I will totally agree. That's how I use mine. Um, Shelly Skinner on Facebook says, I love watching people colouring. I need to practice more. You can see how lovely Becky's uh, colouring in there. Absolutely beautiful. Um, Tim C on YouTube, we had at one point, get this Becky, ready? Yeah. 35 rabbits. What? Three guinea pigs. <gasps> a Jack Russell. Three chickens. Good oh my goodness. Grief, Tim. That is a lot. Is that Doctor Doolittle or what's that arc? Noah's. Noah's, Noah's arc. arc. That sounds like, that sounds like <laughs> you had a lot of animals to uh, look after there, Tim. Um, I tell you, it was amazing with all the rabbits and vice versa. Oh, that's lovely. Um, Hilary Bell on YouTube. I've just discovered rocker blocks. I love them all. Um, Hilary and Bedlington. Uh, Tess Anker. On Facebook, I raised sheep for 20 years for hand spinning. You'd be amazed how fast they can run. So maybe not so dumb after all, eh, Anne? <laughs> and, oh, look, get this, get this. Anne's come back with another comment on here. Pigs actually can get sunburnt. Can they? Oh. Uh, do you know this is something... Honestly, actually, Anne, you're, uh, honestly, I didn't know that. And it's one of those reasons they roll around in the mud to soothe their skin. Every day is a school day here at Crafters TV, let me tell you. And thank you very much for that, because um, I didn't know that. So that's, uh, your, yours is, so, you need to maybe add a splash of dirt in there then maybe, Becky. I do, maybe, uh, shouldn't I? <laughs> and the, the last guinea pig, says Lillian, <laughs> looks like he ate all the cake. <laughs> <laughs> You need a big, big, um, squishy um, guinea pig, don't you? You don't want a, yeah. a small guinea pig. I appear to have lost my um, sentiments. Oh, I don't know hang what on happens a to them. The sentiment thief is oh, at my it goodness. again in this building. I don't building. understand. Oh no! It makes no, it makes no sense to me. Where they go? Oh. It's like a black oh. hole back there. Oh! Have you found it? Yes. Was it on the floor again, Becky? Yes. If in doubt, it's probably on the floor. Right, so I've, I've finished. Finish, you see, this one is, looks like a hot pig. Um, so I've, I just look a bit warm. Um, I'm just using some of our Colours of Summer um, uh, paper on oh, here. Oh, lovely. Um, with some black card. And then I've already stamped out my sentiments using my rocker blocks and using some blank ink. And I'm going to put those here. There we go. Like that. And then we're going to use, um, let's find some, what are these things called? Flomi pads. Your foam pads? Flomi pads, yep. Yep. There's still not enough big Flomi pads over here. They're all tiny ones. I know. Every time we put some big pads over there, they disappear. I'll see if I can get hold of some for you, Becky. Hang tight. Oh, it's all right. I can manage. I'm going to read Sarah's draw again. You, <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get in so much trouble. We're not allowed well, to touch Sarah's stuff. Know. He's not here. Right, we're just going to pop a few more there. And we'll just put a few um, foam pads on the back of that. And now then, that one would is... you believe this if I told you, Becky? What's that? Sarah hasn't got any either. Oh. So she's only got little ones. Oh. So maybe we've got a shortage. Might well um, do. A bit of foam on a roll? Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. What's this? But just remember, foam... Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. You ready? <laughs> I dare you. Come on. <laughs> oh, no. She's foam on she's a roll. Foam on a roll. Foam on a roll. Foam on a roll. Foam on a roll. Hey! One thing in the four years. Oh, dear. <laughs> I can honestly say. Ben's a master with his songs and he just comes up with some genius things, but. Um, I think after the fourth million time of hearing it, it starts to wear a bit thin. It does, doesn't it? After, yeah, like you say, after a while, you're just like, oh, oh no. Debbie Fisher still loves it to this day. Right, a few little gems I'm going to pop on here. So um, I think three gems on each side, like that. And I think these are the, absolutely the cutest little things ever. Love these little, um, little creatures. Mm, a bit smaller. You there. There we go. And that then we've got, we've, so we've got a little guinea pigs with our sunburnt piggy. Oh, that is lovely, that. Absolutely beautiful. And um, made before your very eyes. 
right there, right now with our lovely Becky. That's gorgeous. So that is your lovely, cute, um, over the edge um, animals where you can see for £34 or $44, just move that to one side, you're going to get um, your um, pride and joy. You're going to get the you make me happy. You're also going to get the positively perfect and the fabulous nuts about you followed by what becky's just used the hogs and the kisses that was a lovely demonstration there becky thank you very oh, thank much you. um we um have, oh someone's commenting on your nails becky saying how lovely your nails are oh thank you that's our lovely sarah morley on facebook um zoe carver on youtube lived in a one bedroom wait a minute live in a one bedroom bungalow <gasps> are you ready what zoe carver lives in a one bedroom bungalow yeah have about 40 chickens what four zero chickens and ducks 40 chickens 40 ducks a wow. horse a lizard a fish a spaniel oh and a husband <laughs> <laughs> my god zoe that's a lot that's a lot of animals um my God, you you must have the patience of a saint to look after so many animals. That's amazing. Um, I hope you can agree that was a lovely demonstration by our Becky. Absolutely lovely. Any questions you've got asked about stamping, though? I don't think I've missed any. And if I have, I'll go back and have a little look. Um, did you say it was time for a bit of a break? Oh, I see. Right, OK, let me do my job properly. Sorry, sorry, Producer Nicola. Uh, so what are we mentioning then? Oh, of course. Tell me about that earlier. I mean, meant to be a professional, Nicola. I'm meant to be a professional. So we <laughs> we have got the perfect product for you for a stamping masterclass special. Where whenever you want to clean a stamp, we have got our stamp cleaning platform or our stamp cleaning um, solution station. It's called. But today for free. For $14.99 or $19.99, look at the price, $11.99 or $15.99, for free, you're going to get the stamping solution, which works beautifully. Now, they work beautifully together. You have a clean and a dry side on either side, super easy to use, and very straightforward. And the clean side, you can actually lift off and wash it under some warm soapy water and get that clean. But that cleaning solution works on all of your stamps with all of your inks. It's absolutely phenomenal. And you're getting that for free today with that fabulous deal that you can see on the screen. And then my last little one that I'm gonna talk about with very comes to stamping. And if, especially with certain things, and I know Becky's got one planned for a heat emboss um, special, you can need a good eat tool. And that's what we've got here in the form of our own eat tool that's got a two speed set in um, and absolutely fabulous. So it's £22.99 or $27.95. Coming down in at $18.39 um, in the Club Platinum or $22.35. And for free, you are going to get our fabulous eat mold stamping foam which i absolutely love it's a genius game changer when it turns anything anything that you want to impress into it simply by eating it up with your eat tool and you can create some amazing backgrounds and i absolutely adore this you get four of those in there that can be reheated and reused all the time absolutely sensational and you can go and catch out some of those tutorials online that we have at crafters tv and youtube uh, so that's a fabulous price so that's for free when you're buying your heat tool and if you want to do some heating positive techniques we will be coming up to one um, a technique that becky's going to show you how to do those as well but for now we're going to give you a chance to check out your baskets and um have a little listen i've just been having a go at ben but do you know what he is a genius well forgive him for foam on the roll but he's a genius when it comes to putting together some songs and here is one for you to sample a few weeks ago on the show we were talking about places where all you guys live we might have used Google Earth just to have a bit of a sneaky look at the village, town, or city that you lived in. And I thought it might be quite funny if I wrote a little ditty and I put on my Facebook page, Where do y'all live? And I'll 50 towns and cities and village into my little song. But I didn't realize that there would be about 425 responses. So I'm going to cram as many places into this song as I can, but I won't get them all in. We grabbed everywhere, man. We grabbed everywhere. From over here to there, man, we craft everywhere. In crafters, we've got our share, man, we craft everywhere. 
We grabbed in Lydney, Limbrook, Launceston, Lehanna, Tampa, Darlington, Armour Beach, Sedalia, Wills Point, Witness, Wildwood, Wildham, Archer, Jackwell Lake, Walker, Burn, Yate, Bear, Hesperia, Sublimity, Pinhoe, Avon, Freeport, Mableton, San Jose, Adam Crow, Great Van, Detroit, Penniston. We grabbed everywhere, man. We grabbed everywhere. From over here to there, man. We grabbed everywhere. In crafters, we've got our share, man. We grabbed everywhere. Grabbed in Parachute, Paradise, Pilots, Pope, Papillion, Sheets of Basin, Petersburg, Seacom, Sutton, Saturn, Bristol, Brighton, Brooklyn, Blackwood, Barnsley, Tide Street, South Shields, Tampa Hills, and Bentley, Tampa Villa, Tucum, Cary, Ottawa, Hull, Harrisburg, Lexington, Tupelo, Cincinnati, Austinburg. We grabbed everywhere, man. We grabbed everywhere. From over here to there, man. We grabbed everywhere. In crafters, we've got our share, man. We grabbed everywhere. Grabbing Luxa, Hatchie, Lakesville, Lawrence, Lacey, Livermore, Albuquerque, Wiki, Washi, Fencer, Cosmic, Elsmer, Park, Mechanicsburg, Williamsburg, Rebello, Houston, Burlington, Wet, Wang, Market, Drake, Yell, Method, Wellington, Wapakanita, Homer, Sassa, Santa Rosa, Wichita, Honolulu, Riverdale, Melbourne, Commerce, Fintana. We grabbed everywhere, man. We grabbed everywhere. From over here to there, man. We grabbed everywhere. In crappers, we've got our share, man. We grabbed everywhere. Grabbing Newton Abbott, Newton Abbott, Richmond, Dudley, Georgetown, East Kilbride, Eugene, Farron, Bramlett, Walkerstown, New Ohio, Fort Wayne, Gloucester, Chester, Long Beach, Raphael, St. Dominic, St. Cloud, St. Augustine Beach, Sand Springs, Romford, Tulsa, Travis City, Wesley Chapel, Ballarat, Medina, Rampo City. We grabbed everywhere, man. We grabbed everywhere. From over here to there, man. We grabbed everywhere. In crafters, we've got our share, man. We grabbed everywhere. Grabbing Sarbrook and Tucson, Kushami, Philadelphia, Chicago, Las Vegas, Biloxi, Latte, Elmira, Glendale, Scottsdale, Anchorage, and Hurtville, Seattle, Gold Canyon, Ipswich, Cumberland, Union, Bill, Toledo, Miami, Atlanta, Cleveland, Gold Canyon, Altoona, Calhoun, Deport, Orange, Club, Horizon, Sun. We grabbed everywhere, man. We grabbed everywhere. From over here to there, man. We grabbed everywhere. In crafters, we've got our share, man. We grabbed everywhere. And there's a few more places I didn't manage to get into the song. West Runton, Newcastle, Kingswood, Sandbach, Carlisle, Cobb, Butley, Albury, Durham, Springfield, Ashington. We crafted Greenville, Lincoln, Nebraska, Sumter, Oak Park, Winchester, Nap Hill, Stoke on Trent, Mount Pocono, Greenville, Charlotte, Oxon Hill, Tunbridge Wells, Modesto, Haverhill, Sierra Vista, Arathebo, Morgantown, O'Fallon, Aurora, Black Forest. We crafted Hermiston, Brownsburg, Henderson, Sakara, Fort Myers, Madden Home, Hilliard, Farmingdale, East Moline, Summers Point, Calgary, Charleston, Sawston, Malden, Galloway, Fitchburg, Oakland, Aberdeen, Winstead, Castlewood, Chatsworth, Limestone, Victoria, Willoughby, Rockland, Canton, Falmouth, Canistota, Lindahurst, Ashbourne, and Cluj, Napoca. Oh yeah. It's the Crafters TV fourth anniversary from the 5th till the 11th of September, and here's four great reasons why you need to tune in. Number one, all your favourite shows with all your favourite experts and presenters, plus loads of brand new launches. Number two, double points for all Club Inspire members. Number three, chances to win vouchers to spend on the Crafters Companion website. And number four, a free gift of a Crafters TV crystal pen. So join us from the 5th till the 11th of September for the Crafters TV 4th anniversary. Welcome back to Crafters TV. I can't believe how fast the time goes in this building, let me tell you. Um, I missed a question earlier, so I'm going to I'm going to address one of the questions because I hate missing questions when they get sent through to me. Uh, but I wanted a little bit more information. So Rose Lippitt, if you're still watching on Facebook, uh, popped a little question saying, "I made my first reveal wheel card today. Struggled with stamping the small sentiments that's kept getting ink around the edges. How can I avoid this?" So Rose, if you're still watching, can you just drop in the comments for us um, what platform you used and what ink you used, so that we could perhaps literally give you a little bit more um, help in hand there because it depends on the stamping platform with a rocker block there's a couple of lips at each side and sometimes you can catch ink onto your stamp sentiment area so we just wondered if you could give us a little bit more information on the ink that you use so the ink pad that you used and also which platform you used and we'll answer that for you uh, no problem uh, loads of lovely comments about your lovely card there um, uh, Becky uh, sorry Susan Griffiths on YouTube Becky that's lovely a very cheerful card um, Debbie card on Facebook hi everyone from a very hot Amsha my hubby is trying to ban me from buying anything else so far 
it isn't quite working. Uh, you keep doing you, uh, Debbie, is all I'm going to say. If you want to get some and get hold of some of the amazing bargains, you've seen some sellouts already on the show, um, you go and get what you want. And don't forget, all these comments that are coming through are going to be in a chance to win in go or get entered into that prize draw where you're going to win a chance to win the £200 or $200 prize that we're going to do on Monday. Get your teeth back in, Debbie. Um, Bethan's put, um, I played this at my craft group. They loved that our town got into it. So that's the, that's the song with our Ben. Uh, Crafty Chimp on YouTube says, oh, I've never seen that stamping form before. Check out some of the tutorials because I think I launched it, Craig's had it. We've all have had a play with it. It's absolutely fabulous. You can check out some of those and you, maybe maybe we can persuade Becky to um, have a go with the uh, stamping foam as well because it is absolutely amazing. Um, and Zoe said, Debbie, my husband Brian is the saint. Oh, due to current health problems, he's having to do most of the animals. Still hoping one day I'll get my life back. You guys really help me keep going. Thank you. Zoe, that's lovely. And you have got a saint for husband Brian. So Brian, um, for looking after all those animals big shout out to the lovely Brian and Zoe um, thank you for that that's lovely thank you for sharing uh, that little bit of information with us and I hope you are um, okay and I hope I'm, well, I'm glad that we actually um, help you um, in terms of your recovery as well. So thank you for that lovely comment. Keep those comments coming in. Um, Deborah Mer Merger on Facebook has said she just ordered those animals. Oh, that's Absolutely. Fabulous. They are the beautiful. I was quite upset because I, I dropped one of the dyes and I couldn't find it anywhere. And I was thinking, no, 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 I need that because <laughs> I want to use these when I get home. Yeah. Don't worry, I found them. Guess where it was? <laughs> on, on the floor. floor. Oh, oh Becky. I know. What are you like? I don't know, Debbie. What Every am time I like? today, everything's been on, on the, the floor. floor. <laughs> Quite literally. <laughs> right, moving along. Don't forget, get those questions asked um, and we'll do our very best to answer them whilst we're in this masterclass. Because it is stamping, we're obviously going to focus on a lot of stamps. We already have and they've gone. Um, but um, literally, definitely, um, all about the stamping. I've got some really good stamps here for you, uh, which are our Mindful Quotes stamp. Um, little bit short, Borgie. Borgie. What's a bogey? I, I, I've got no idea. A chalkboardy <laughs> looking effect. The chalkboard effect is where I was going with that. I don't know what happened there. I dread to think what those subtitles are saying again today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but can I just share something with you? On the screen, look at the price. Have you seen the price? Wow. This is amazing. This is a stamping special price, $11.97 or $17.97. I'm not even showing you, and you haven't taken off your discount yet. Under a under £10 here in the UK or $14.38 for all of these fabulous uh, stamps. We have got Dream, look at the, I do love these and I love the quotes, I, love, I think they're very uplifting and very, um, not just mindful but very uplifting and there could be someone, whether it be in home decor or whether it be a scrapbook page that you're going to be able to find to use these for. Uh, dream, more, wish, Debbie. Work. Work harder, Debbie, work harder. I swear to God, I cannot work to. I cannot wait to get my glasses on, my new glasses. Uh, dream more, work harder. Look at the font, look at the style. Um, I absolutely love them. And these aren't overly big stamps, so they're absolutely incredible. Uh, I can read that one. Make today amazing. You've got some amazing samples that you're going to share with I us have. in a minute, as well as a fabulous demonstration. Uh, giggle more, worry less. That's me. That one made for me. Are you a giggler? I am a giggler. Not on the Debbie Fisher kind of giggles, because uh, Debbie Fisher's the giggle giggles, yeah. the Mika giggles, as our lovely Ben uh, describes her as. Uh, but I do, I'm more of a belly laugh. Okay. <laughs> Comes up from the belly, <laughs> literally. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, but I do love a giggle. Everybody should take that motto, because I think that's exactly uh, yeah. a really good one there. And then good things take time, because they do. Absolutely. I love these stamps. I love the, the style of them. I love the price of them as well. And our Becky has got some samples for you. And of course, a lovely demonstration with them as well. The, the design team always make the most amazing samples. I, if you're like me, when I used to watch the shows um, and I'd see these launches and I think oh, I get, the, get the, the product a few you know, days later and I think oh, I've forgotten what I'm supposed to do. I used to then go back and use a screenshot all the things that I liked, all the samples, and um, so I knew what I wanted to make. Um, so um, here's a few um, samples that the design team made. This one, dream more, work harder. This one, make today amazing. Beautiful card that you've got there. I love all that colour, that bright yellow. It's really sort of uplifting kind of colours. Then we've got an easel card using your good 
things take time. And then we've got Giggle More, Worry Less with that delightful daisies um, paper pad as well as the dies that we've been using on here. So really, really lovely um, selection of items here. Right, so I'm going to get started on my demo. I'll just make sure I've got everything to hand. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, some of my water reactive um, inks. So I've got uh, my crushed velvet and I've also got my pale fig. Um, so I want to start off with my pale fig first of all. I'm just going to pop a little bit on my, um, on my mat. There you go. And then I'm going to use a little bit of water. Oh, that's not very good. That's gone yellow. Um, and I'm just going to do a bit of a colour wash on here. Oh, it's definitely very yellow, that water. Or that pen paintbrush that's horrible I think it, think it is a brush um, I might have to, I'm gonna to have to use that one because that's just come out really mucky try and try and see if I can get a little bit more of the color that's a little bit better I'm just putting a little bit of color on here with a pale fig but it's actually looking quite great because I think the brush has, was slightly yellow unfortunately and then I'm going blame, to Becky. get we blame? Who we blame? Oh, I don't know who was here yesterday Get away with you. <laughs> Are you trying to blame me? No, I wouldn't <laughs> dream of it. So I've got a little bit of the crushed velvet on a, um, with some water, and I'm just going to flip that um, on here to get that kind of inky background um, on here. There we go. And we have got some amazing inks on the show, which we'll go through in a second with you as well, because uh, that's lovely. I love the water reactive ones. They're very versatile. Oh, they look gorgeous, don't mm. they? And I never, you know, I, before I started, I didn't have a, um, a glass mat, and I didn't realise I needed one. But then when you start using it for all these different things, you're like, oh, gosh, that's definitely something I, I have to have, I have to use. Um, so we want to make that um, nice and dry. So we use our heat tool on that. Um, just to dry that off but in order to save time because I'm conscious I'm a very slow paper crafter and I do apologize for that don't um, you apologize here is, for nothing here's one that I did earlier but you can see how that's going to look that's nice and dry um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my stamp so I'm just going to grab, grab that stamp which I put under here um, I'm going to do um, make which one shall I use I think giggle more worry less I think yeah is definitely that'll fit on there or maybe Dream, let's, let's use this one, dream. Does that quite fit onto my piece of card? That's no good, Becky. Make today amazing, let's see if that one's better. Oh, that's not gonna quite fit in here because the one I, I use isn't one we've actually got on the show. Oh, well, that's annoying. Um, they're all a tiny bit too, wide do you know what? i'm going to have to use that one and we're just going to have to pretend it was wide enough because the one i used was think happy thoughts which was slightly um less uh, slightly less um it was slightly thinner um so we're going to use this one for today um so we're going to take this off and i'm going to use our stamping platform for this and i'm going to use um a mixture of our um, pigment dyes in crushed velvet and damson um, in here. So let's pop that there. Make sure I've got that in the right place. So it's just, it's just a touch, the tiniest touch too tight. So we're just not going to get those scrolls quite on there, but I don't think it's really going to matter loads. Get in the right place. There we go. <coughs> on here okay so I'm going to use um, as I said I'm going to use a mixture of um, the damson um, damson wine and also the opaque and the crushed velvet um, I'm going to use them um, half and half so I'm going to use this one on the top here that top half and then use this one at the bottom half. Okay. Now what we also want to do is I want to use my embossing um, powder so I'm going to heat emboss on this. So I'm just going to get that in the right place and then press down. 
bit more. Let's maybe get a little bit more of that um, ink on here. So that is your crushed velvet on the top. That's the lovely thing about this stamping platform. If there is any area that you've missed, you can just go back yeah. in. That makes um, such a difference, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It makes a massive difference. It was one of the reasons why I fell in love with it, because it made me feel a much more confident stamper uh, than I had been before in the past. Um, and just because of that ability to be able to do that. And there you go, the details are on the bottom of the screen for you with the 8x8 stamping platform and magnetic base. Usual price £24.99, but not today. It is £17.90. Is that £99? Oh, £17.49. Debbie, you're reading it wrong. Or uh, $27.96, uh, which is an amazing saving. And I think, did you say about 30% off today? 30%, wow, that, that is, is really good, good. Deal, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so I noticed you've popped that over the um, top of your ink pad, which That's is the pigment open. Why is that, Becky? Um, so it, it stays wetter for longer, so it means that that embossing powder is going to stick to it, um, which is going to give us the time in order to um, use the um, heat and emboss. I'll just look for a pair of tweezers so I don't burn myself. Yes, um, definitely. Tweezers come in handy always for heat embossing. They really do, don't they? Yeah. And I just use that um, just to um, heat up and melt that embossing powder um, over the top of here. So it's a shame it hasn't quite fitted into that piece of paper, but it still works. And the thing um, is, it's showing that technique. That's the thing, it shows yeah. the technique. Uh, you're probably being a bit frugal, in the words of crafting. Uh, frugal with your paper and cardstock to make it last longer. That's how I, that's how I do it, I say. Do Chop it down to size. <laughs> I always think I'm really frugal with my tape, which I think is ridiculous because oh, the tape know. is something we've got loads of. It I'm is. I'm so frugal with it. But you can just see how that is um, going nice and glossy now. Look at that. It's lovely. I always, I'm never tired of that technique. I think it looks lovely when it's um, being heat set. I think so too. Well, I'm going to do a couple of other layers of the embossing over the top. So while that is still warm, I'm going to put a little bit more over the top. Hopefully I'll catch um, that in enough time. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing again. Oh, oh I nearly spilled it. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Can you imagine the trouble I would be in? <laughs> the emails that would be around on Monday morning. I would be in so much trouble. I won't even be here on Monday morning. Yeah, they, could, they could say what they like. I'll be travelling. I've got a 6am train back to London on Monday morning. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's an early train, that one. That is. But then I'm at um, Sewing Street on Tuesday. So that's why I've got to get home as quickly as possible. <laughs> So we're just going to hit emboss that again so that's that's two layers so you can i've seen people doing like five layers of heat embossing and that looks really effective yeah okay. it's because that first that first layer always looks like an orange peel skin yeah um and so double embossing it when you add more to it it, it literally creates a more glassy effect a more a more um, shine to it and it, it smooths out that orange peel but don't don't be afraid of the orange peel because if that's that's fine you know if you like that absolutely yeah. that's fine to, that's to do as nice, well nice way of doing it anyway so we're yeah. going to put that to one side so that is i'm only going to do two layers on that and then um i've taken i'm making a bag here so this is a, an a4 bag um which i've scored at four uh, five and a half nine and a half and eleven um, and then I've scored at, um, one and a half along the long, length, long lengths to create that bottom part here. Um, so we're going to um, put this together um, in just a moment. So that is going to form a little box, a little bag, um, which will be looking like that in just a moment. So we'll put that all together. But before we do that, I'm going to pop my different mats and layers on. Let's move them over here. So I've got all those beautiful purples and pinks here. So I want to put um, these matte and layers um, over here. Oh, and I then I want that to pop paper. that on the top of here um, to finish that all off. So I'm going to get my glue. I think that 
that's the same with flower paper pad if I'm I not think you might be right. I, you know what? Sometimes I was looking at the yeah, it, I say it with flowers. I, I forget that I'm supposed to be writing them down. I tend to just like look at what I've got and think, oh yeah, that will do. Yeah. I'll put that together. <laughs> and then then I think, oh gosh, gosh, I am supposed to write down what all these are. Um, what the papers um, that I've used are. And I sometimes that is definitely forget. me. I'm always saying, I'm going to write a little post-it note. I'm going to remember what paper pad it is because by the time I get to the place... And sometimes we do us prep like a... It's not always an, on the night before. It's usually about a week or so before yeah. when we get us prepped done. So um, if I haven't wrote it down, <clears throat> I've got no chance of remembering because uh, my memory is shocking just of late. I suppose we just rely on other people to remember because most of the viewers can identify a paper pad at 20 paces, can't they? <laughs> um, and I, you know, I know a few of the... Um, well, even I, there was a paper pad that came up the other day, and I'm thinking, I know where that's from. And it's not even a paper pad that, a paper pad, paper pad that um, has launched since I've been working here, but I still somehow remembered, um, which I was very impressed with. <laughs> Didn't think I, I knew as much as I did. I've got a question for you, if I can, Becky, while you're popping your yeah. legs together. Um, Jane Adams on Facebook said, are you using a regular clear embossing powder or an ultra thick embossing powder? No, I think it's just a standard, it's the one that we happen to have here. Yes. Um, I think it's just the standard one that we've got um, dotted around in the, the office, in the studio. Um, I don't know, Debbie, you'll probably be better positioned to answer that for me. Is it just the normal one that we've got here? It is indeed. And I think that one particularly, because there's plenty of clear embossing powders out there. Um, there's like your things that you can get from Creative Expressions. Uh, you can get the wow powders. Um, I think that may be a wow powder, that one. Um, but yeah, it's the, it's the fine it one. It is a um, wow. Ultra thick dries, it, uh, it heat embosses thicker. So depending on what you're using it for, and that's a, a stamp sentiment, Actually, with those, because they're quite big, probably would look all right. Uh, but that one we've used, and what Becky's just used, um, is the clear one. And it's perfect for any of your ink pads, like your pigment ink pads, if you're using a clear one, because then you can colour match. Because the all of the family of the water reactive, the quick dry, and the... Um, pigment ones are all a family of colors it's the same colors they all work in harmony with each other yeah um, so it's really good that you can color match so you could heat emboss with your colors that matches your distressed background like becky's just done there with that lovely pale pig i'm doing it again pale pig pig's on green <laughs> pale pig I, every time i come to call it pale pig debbie pale pig <gasps> i'm gonna get shot one of these days seriously pale pig it's pig. pale pig um, and like Becky's done there in the background, looks beautiful because it colour matches with that family of colours that you've used. So, yeah, that's... Um, and Jean, Jean, Jean Marie, same as me, I love heat embossing. The effect never ceases to amaze me. It absolutely it, does. There's something quite magical about it, isn't there? Because yeah. you just sort of think it's coming out of nowhere. It's um, really magical. I do, I do like that a lot. Um, so I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue um, in here to attach these sides of the boxes or the little bag. It's like a bag box um, that I'm doing here. Camille Norris on YouTube. She likes heat embossing, but haven't tried more than one layer. I will definitely try more now. That must be you've inspired someone again, um, Becky. Oh. Yeah, double embossing, triple embossing. Um, you can do it as many times as you want, can't you? You absolutely can. And Anne has said everyone needs that magic platform unless you don't stamp, but it also is good for holding stencils and templates, so definitely get hold of one. Nick is laughing at my technical way of making sure everything's glued in together. Why, what did you use, Becky? <laughs> a pair of scissors. There's <laughs> put, nothing wrong with I that. I put my scissors in between, in the bottom of the box, and then I put, press it together like that, and then just to get everything in the right place. Is that not right? Of course it is. Like that. I just go... <laughs> I, it depends what it depends on size, it depends on the size of the opening as what you push yeah. in to get to, to stick that bottom together um, so me I usually use a glue tube or something like oh, that yeah, or something yep. if you can't get your hand in yeah that's that's nothing wrong with that uh, Nicola laughing at her Becky Aww. what are you like I'm, I'm loving this Becky slightly to an angle I'm gonna pop my hand in there just to press up against that and then I've got a little bit of ribbon that I'm going to thread through um, maybe wait, someone would go this way. Um, so a bit of organza ribbon to go through those little holes at the top. And then we can use that for any kind of little gift. No, some yeah, toiletries, definitely. some soaps maybe. Um, some 
Palmer violets. Oh, um, I love palmer violets. Do you? I do. I yeah, quite, I love palmer violets. I quite like a palmer violet. But they, um, I think I like sweets that nobody else likes because then I can eat them all to myself. <laughs> so um, I really like licorice all sorts. Um, oh, I love licorice all sorts. Hardly anybody likes them. My, but my niece and I, we love licorice all sorts and uh, pick -a mix sweets. They're our absolute favourite. Oh, why can I not get this to go through? Um, more think fingers and thumbs today, aren't I? <laughs> You expressions by Candy on YouTube. I said, Becky, I love this sentiment. It will go great on that bag. Perfect for a friend who needs some encouragement. That is, that exactly. is lovely because they are lovely sentiments, aren't they? These. Um, Claudia Sue on YouTube said, I could watch someone stamping colouring all evening. It's so calming and inspiring as well. Um, yeah, there's some lovely, 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 lovely comments coming through. So I'll keep them coming. Camilo says she loves big sentiment stamps. They are lovely. And, and also Peggy. So Be Becky, I know you're always hard on yourself when it comes to crafting. And I don't yeah. know why, because you are so multi-skilled and very good at both both sides. Um, Peggy Sue Whisker, Whisker, Whisker Sill, I think, on YouTube. I'm sorry about pronouncing your, your name wrong, Peggy. Uh, Peggy Sue, thank you for showing the whole process of making this. It's encouraging that others need to re ink also. So there you go, Becky. Don't never apologise for doing what you're doing because well. that is absolutely beautiful. Not only are you a bag maker extraordinaire um, in terms of the new sewing uh, bag templates from this morning, <laughs> but that is beautiful. Oh, thank a you. gorgeous bag there, an absolutely gorgeous demonstration showing you how you can use your stamps to heat emboss with as well. And Becky showed you there just a couple of um, uh, the double embossing, um, and I think that was a lovely demonstration. So thank you very much, oh, Becky. Thank for that. Debbie. You're, you're not honestly really lovely. Um, Lillian Quack has put, where is your chopstick, Becky? <sighs> Do you know, I haven't had the chopsticks with me for like a couple of weeks. And I ate a packet of crisps today with my fingers. Do you eat crisps with, you eat crisps yeah. a minute? Yeah. Rewind. Oh, you, you use know. chopsticks you to eat this, crisps. Debbie. Yeah, I eat my crisps with chopsticks and your hands don't get mucky. But I didn't bring them with me. Oh, Becky, 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 no, stop. Rewind. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> the whole purpose of eating crisps is to get them fingers in there. Oh, no. So all that lovely oh, no. flavour goes on the fingers so that you can do the finger looking. Finger oh, looking. No. Finger sucking. No, because I, I'm really... If I'm, if I'm on the train, you know, if I'm coming up here, I come on the tube and I'm on the tube for 45 minutes. And uh, the tube, let's be honest, the tube is pretty grim and it's dirty and you've got mucky hands. And I don't want my mucky hands going in my mouth, so I eat all my food with chopsticks so they don't get mucky. Um, and I, I, don't, I didn't bring them with me, I haven't had them in my bag. I think what happened, I think I took them out and I put them in a bento box when I was going somewhere else. And I haven't actually got any chopsticks in my bag or you, to use as a tool because I do find them quite a useful tool. So yeah, I haven't got them with me. It's very remiss of me and um, my mum would be furious to know I haven't got any chopsticks with me at the moment. But anyway, <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> Uh, Susan Griffiths, I <laughs> can't get over chopsticks that way by crisps. Uh, really pretty bag, and thanks, Becky, for the techniques. Um, right, <laughs> we're going to move on to some ink pads because Becky's just been using some ink pads, but I've got three different choices for you here um, because we all love a good ink pad. Um, shall we start with the water reactive ones because that's where she started with first uh, nick is that okay because um our water reactive um ink pads are fabulous for blending and distressing and all those kind of things as well and as becky showed you that lovely color wash now are these all the colors that we've got in a bundle Beck? uh nicola, <laughs> nicola. Uh, so the water reactive um i'm going to show you now it is a is this an eight piece bundle if i remember rightly one, two, three, yes it is. Uh, so you're going to get smoked pearl, you're going to get parakeet, we have baby blue, oh my god, I knew that would come in, do, 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 uh, <laughs> straw bale, there better not be a fuchsia in here, let me just tell you now, um, also fryer brown, or in my Craig and my days when we used to say 
Freya Brown, not Freya Brown. Uh, Damson Wine, that's that beautiful purple colour family. Um, anthracite and lastly, Spa Blue. So some really lovely colours in there to create some lots. And what I want you to remember is as well is that these fabulous ink pads are perfect for all those things like your distressing and your techniques that you want to do with blending. Absolutely perfect. And they react with water beautifully as well. So that's the first set of ink pads that we've got. Then we've got the um, opaque pigment ink pads uh, that you can see I have got that right answer okay thank you very much um, again the oh, I didn't do the price of the other ones I'm so I'm so sorry I think they're all the same price uh, yes they are thank you very much uh, so for 29 pounds or 95p $44.95 they'll not be asking me back again before long uh, the platinum price goes down to 23.96 I want you to bear in mind each one of these is the value of at 5.99 so you can see the saving that you've got coming through there this is a great deal to get hold of some fabulous ink pads the ones becky's just used for the actual stamping for heat embossing are these brilliant ink pads which as debbie fisher would call are the best ink pads in the world she loves these uh, so we have our um bordeaux which is that from that red family we've got the orange we also have honey pot we've got plum jam pink tulip spring meadow an ocean blue and lastly parakeet beautiful juicy ink pads these do not dry instantly the minute you contact them to cardstock which means you can of course heat emboss with them blend with them and so much more they all work in harmony with each other there is still a little bit of a water ele based element in there so you can do lots of things like painting with them as well um, absolutely incredible ink pads and um, yeah I can understand why Debbie says that they're the best ink pads that she loves to use time and time again and then lastly in the ink pad we have got the quick dry is that right Nicola uh, as you can see on the screen Screen, same price the same saving uh, because you're getting eight in total but a different color combination here and these are the ones that you use when you want to know smudging and things like that so if Rose was around I don't know if she still is we'll find out for you um, anything that you want to stamp sentiments these were the ones to go for they're quick drying the minute they touch the cardstock they are dry absolutely incredible but again you can still do lots of techniques with them so we've got crushed red we have honey pots we have did i say something else Crushed oh my I've god seen, that's a new color that why on <laughs> earth what is wrong with me today um i think i'm i think some of becky becky's uh whatever becky had earlier i think it's, <laughs> it's passed on to me now we'll start again chinese red thank you plum jam honey pot oh no you can stay there Baby blue, du, 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 du. Uh, grasshopper, uh, damson wine, <sighs> fuchsia, lagoon. Can I just go back <laughs> to the fuchsia? <laughs> <laughs> I've never done that one. That's so funny. It cracks me up. <laughs> You're watching Craig. What have you started? What have you started? Uh, there are eight incredible ink pads as well there for you. Um, I have got a question, Becky. Yeah. Um, oh, do you know, this is lovely as well. I'm going I'm to read some more comments for you. Uh, with the water reactive inks, is there a reason why some of their, them are in blue packaging and some are in black? Uh, now, I don't know, but you might know because... Um, I do. Okay. Because I, I often I have to look at them over there and think, I wonder why I should ask someone that question in a minute. But, yes. Um, so the so original I'm... ones were black. Right. But with our ink pads yeah. and the other ink pads when we first launched everything, although we've made it quite easy to see from the front, and the front tells you each one what they are, because on the front of a water reactive, you see a blending tool. Let me just see if I can get that down there. You see a blending tool, so you know. But it, when it was black, alongside the others that were black, like the finesse, uh, they weren't so easy to spot. So we changed the packaging. Ah. It's as simple as that. That's got a finger dauber for your blending, also for opaque, um, you know, your, your techniques that you do. And the quick dry's got your layering, because of course, quick dry is perfect for layering as well as all your sentiments. And that's the reason why. We changed it to make it easier for you to see. And that's why uh, some of those are different colors. Some are in black and some are in the, the new design which is the almost like a blue turquoise color like a dark green but that's why we did it so that you they are all now if I bring it out again just to show you each one blue for the water reactive 
um, brown burgundy I'm going to call it for the opaque and purple for the quick dry so they've all got a very visible and now I've messed all of those things up I've oh got to get them sorted in a second um, <clears throat> sorry Nicola um, but that's the reason why so that was a good question um, and Rachel's put all mine are still black which shows you how long they last yeah and yeah. I have all of mine ones are still there as well um, Oh, yes, we can produce a Nicola. I'll come back to some of those in a second because Susan said a really pretty bag. Thanks, Becky, for the techniques. I think oh, I said that one. But you. there's something else there that's coming up and I'll just mention it in a second. However, it has been so in Saturday uh, for the first two shows and we've had two incredible launches. We've already mentioned the bag templates, uh, but we also have some fabulous multi-craft dies that were launched today which cross over between the sewing and the paper craft with them being multi-craft and these are fabulous so if you can see to the side of me we have got those fabulous ones that say hello friend and thank, thank you. you thank you thank you thank you thank you along with a felt bundle as well and the felts are gorgeous and the quality of the felt for me is perfect for these fabulous um multi-craft uh, stitched cut and well, Debbie 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 cut and stitch dies which are absolutely fabulous and that price on the screen is 50 pounds or 70 dollars taking it down when you club platinum to the 40 pound mark and 56 dollars and these are multi-craft dies if you saw the technique in fact I've got the card just here just <laughs> smooth <laughs> so discreet um, in terms of paper craft Becky did two demonstrations this morning one with a hoop which was a home deco project yep. and then card making because you can take it into card making to show you that it crosses over into the world of paper craft and it's that lovely embroidery and I love these because of the sentiments we've done some embroidered ones before but these are absolutely fabulous and this was got what Becky did earlier on today which I thought was beautiful uh, right <sighs> Where are we going now, producer Nick? Oh, thank goodness for that. Um, so, <laughs> I just need a couple of minutes just to regather my, um, well, Becky's ready and raring to go for the next one, but I need to regather uh, myself just for a second and sort out the ink pads that I've just literally thrown to one side. Uh, so with that in mind, I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes to check out your baskets and take a little mini break yourself. See you on the other side. We get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling and it's nice that people keep messaging in, you know, we see the same, same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people so it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased and I do love it when people send us photographs of the items they've made. We talk about customers but really the going as a customer, come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing. The messages I get are amazing. Me, personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we're all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air. I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the things she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family
It's the Crafters TV fourth anniversary from the 5th till the 11th of September, and here's four great reasons why you need to tune in. Number one, all your favorite shows with all your favorite experts and presenters, plus loads of brand new launches. Number two, double points for all Club Inspire members. Number three, chances to win vouchers to spend on the Crafters Companion website. And number four, a free gift of a Crafters TV crystal pen. So join us from the 5th till the 11th of September for the Crafters TV 4th anniversary. There once was a man who was very crafty. His name was Craig from Carnoustie. He joined the team on Crafters TV. Oh, crafty Scottish man craft. Soon may the crafty man come to bring us demos and inspiration. Each day when his crafting is done, he might do a Facebook Live. He wanted to prove he was the man, but he lost at Craft Wars to Leanne. But two weeks later, he beat Jan. Oh, crafty Scottish man, craft. Soon may the crafty man come to bring us demos and inspiration. Each day when his crafting is done, he might do a Facebook Live. He did so well on Crafters TV, Sarah sent him off to Germany, where he did some work for QVC. Oh, crafty Scottish man, craft. Soon may the crafty man come to bring us demos and inspiration. Each day when his crafting is done, he might do a Facebook Live. His crafting skills, they aren't half bad. In fact, I'd say they're totally rad. That's mainly down to his favorite foam pads. Oh, crafty Scottish man, craft. Soon may the crafty man come to bring us demos and inspiration. Each day when his crafting is done, he might do a Facebook Live. The crafters, they loved him a lot for his charm and skill. They went quite potty. They nicknamed him the hardy Scotty. Oh, crafty Scottish man, craft. Soon may the crafty man come to bring us demos and inspiration. Each day when his crafting is done, he might do a Facebook Live. In the crafting world, he's standing tall. He's the best Scottish crafter of them all. Catch him Monday to Friday on his wake-up call. Oh, crafty Scottish man, craft. Soon may the crafty man come to bring us demos and inspiration. Each day when his crafting is done, he might do a Facebook Live. Sorry there, we're just having a bit of a coughing fit. <laughs> I told you, know you put a bit of drink in your mouth and it goes down the wrong hole? Oh, no. oh my God, I mean, there's no such thing as the wrong hole, really. I, I, it's, a not, it's just a term we say, but I was like, oh my God, don't come to me, don't come to me, I'm coughing my head off. Um, welcome back. Love that shanty song. Um, just had to check that word in there. Absolutely love one of my favourite ones with our lovely Craig there, who is enjoying himself, sunning himself in sunny Carnoustie right now. Um, and he will be back to Crafters TV on Monday, where myself will be with him, along with Sarah, because Sarah's doing the first wake up call show. Um, so that's going to be a good one. And I know he'll be nice and relaxed back from his lovely little jollies in his hometown. Right. Can I just tell you, Diane said a lovely thing on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Diana, sorry. Uh, it's so nice to see Debbie and Becky together. Oh, Isn't that lovely. Yeah, it is nice. lovely because we don't often get to do we this. Don't. We no. Don't. So it is lovely. And it's lovely because we both get his hand up presenting now, so we get to see and work mm -hmm. with people that Absolutely. we normally wouldn't work with. So thank you very much for that, Diana. It's very much appreciated. A um, couple of questions, if I can, of Becky, course, about yeah. stamping. Mm -hmm. Um, so, Shauna Maria on YouTube has said, can you do heat embossing with the shimmer ink pads? Oh, yes. In a word, yes. They're, they're quite juicy. If you've used the shimmer ink pads before, you'll know there's a lot of fluid in them, um, which makes them perfect for doing the heat embossing, because that's what you want. You want the, the ink to stay wet long enough for you to get those, that embossing powder over the top for it to sort of dry and then heat. Um, so, yeah, that is, that is the option. Um, definitely a good option for you to do and you get a lovely effect when using that shimmering pad thank you very much there you go right we're going to move along because we've got some more demos lined up as well and also some more stamps for you this time some quirky sentiments and i love these these are absolutely fabulous again look at the price the i don't know what the saving on this one is nicola but it's got to be high surely that is a good saving 15 pounds 96 
uh, and 12, wait a minute, 12, 15 pounds, 15 pounds 95 or 23 dollars 80 is the normal price that you'd pay today without the club membership off. Take your club membership off and the lowest you'll go down to is 12 pounds 77 or 19 dollars 4. And I do love these, these are lovely and quirky. Uh, again, really lovely font on these too and um, some nice little open spaces on some of them where you can do a spot of colouring into them. Now this is Life is Beautiful, so smile life is beautiful it's in that lovely absolutely i love that one uh, we also have now i do love this lord gave me coffee to change the things that i can change and why to accept the things i can't <laughs> mm -hmm. i know i'm super impressing you aren't i when i said my eyes are bad <laughs> <laughs> give away some of those little <laughs> Oh God, this one, I think this one was um, made for Leanne. We've said this, I often think this is Leanne's quote, um, which is the roll my eyes one. And she's put, sorry, did I just roll my eyes out loud? And yes, this one is not written on the back. I think we're gonna have to write them on the back for when they're busy, it just says roll my eyes. But isn't that a fabulous one? I love that one. And I think, I think there'll be somebody in your life that you know in yeah. your life that you'll be able to send that one to and that'll put a smile on the face. Um, family are like float, <laughs> family are like float, <laughs> fludge, I'm still saying it. <clears throat> family are like fudge, mostly sweet, this is definitely appropriate to my family, with a few nuts. <laughs> Casey, if you're watching, you know that that one's made for you. Because seriously, that girl is nuts, my niece. Love her to bits. Batty. Really? Oh, I love her to bits, but oh my God, since you were this high, she's now this tall. And uh, I love her to bits, 19 years old, but that's her. That is definitely her. That's a good uh, stamp niece. in there. And that's your So my niece is a bit nuts. My, is she? Uh, so my middle niece, who's nearly 18, she talks to people like this. So, <laughs> Uh, hi, little. This sort of is the thing that talks. So she goes out and she just talks to people like this. Oh my God! <laughs> so this one, Becky, perfect is for perfect yeah. for your niece. Absolutely. <laughs> and again, there'll be somebody in your family or one of your friends that you will think, I know, definitely got so. It's... Now then, yeah, exactly. Producer Nick, that's fabulous. If you can't think of anybody in your family, do you know what that means? You're the nut. <laughs> you are. Um, and then lastly, I love this one because it's a play on the words, but also with the image as well. And that is Somebody Loves You. Absolutely adore that one. It's always been one of my favourites. I love the detail, the whiskers on the bunny, the ears, and even the nose in the O. Oh, it's so cute, so isn't it? cute. Absolutely love these. A fabulous saving that you can see on the screen to pick these up today. Um, it's just an amazing deal. And I know Becky's got something lined up with these as well. I have. And I've got a few samples here to show you and um, some of the finished cards again beautiful section of cards so that is that some bunny loves you and um, then we have this one which is life is beautiful smile life is beautiful we've got sorry did i just roll my eyes out loud um, i think that's an ideal one for any teenager any teenager at all um, this one is again sorry um, did i just roll my eyes out loud but totally different feel to it and then this one is your families are like fudge um sweet mostly sweet with um a few nuts i didn't just drop those all on the floor i'll tidy those up guess where they are they're on the floor <laughs> Oh dear oh, me. Becky. Right. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to make a card and I think this is out of the template library if I, if I remember correctly where I was working it from. Um, so I'm going to use, um, I'm just going to use my um, guillotine to cut the very um, edges into a point here. So I'm just going to cut around here and get it all nice and straight. That's not quite, I think I need the bigger guillotine, Becky. There's no point using the smaller one, let's use the bigger one. Gives me more space. Like that. Pop it in here. So we want to just line up the fold that I've already placed here with the fold that's halfway down. So make sure I get that nice and straight. And then this one over here. And then I'm going to do the same over on this side as well. So I'm getting that, that point and the um, fold just over the edge of my guillotine. So I can create a nice um, point at the either end of the card. So there, this one there. Not quite. There we go. 
So when I fold up my card, I'm going to fold that there, and then this one this way here. I'm going to use that bone tool, bone folder, just to do that across. And then I'm going to do the same here. So we want to do here, and then this one to create this pretty card. So something a bit a bit cute, a bit, something a little bit different. Um, and then I'm going to pop some mats and layers on that in just a moment. So I'm just going to get those nice folds in here. I'll put that to one side. Now I want to stamp and I've already used uh, one of our um, nesting um, dies to create this uh, design. I don't remember which one it was. It was just one I happened to have in my stash. I think stash. it's one of our, um, oh gosh, well, I'm saying the original ones, but it, um, it's definitely one of the shaped ones that we did. Uh, but it's lovely. It's got the scalloped edge. Yes, it has yeah. got a scalloped edge. Um, really pretty and I think you know that when you get whenever the, you get the opportunity to get any kind of sort of nesting dies that have got a pretty edge to them that it's worth popping into your basket isn't it because they are so cute um, I'm going to use um, a sorry did I just roll my eyes out, <laughs> out loud because I think that is just such a cool sentiment and I'm just going to place that within the little space I absolutely love that one it's just it's just such a funny a funny sentiment um, it is definitely it's definitely quirky it's definitely funny to be able to send out to someone camille said laugh out loud i need to send a card with that did i just roll my eyes out loud to one of my sisters or to my sisters sorry she said it is a good one that one yeah i definitely need that nuts one for my niece <laughs> i don't think i've got a bit of time before her next birthday so um there we go so we've got that all lined up um, and then I'm going to pop that onto my um, stamping platform. Now, I want to use um, some of my um, water reactive um, inks and also my pearlescent pigment. So I'm going to do my pearlescent pigment in raspberry and I'm going to stamp with that. Oh, is this one of the shimmer ink pads? It is, yeah. Lovely. I like, I like these a lot. And I think this colour, oh, it just makes me want to eat um, a raspberry ice cream or like a raspberry ice, like a sorbet. Okay, get that, all those little um, little feet right in the right place and then press down um, here. I'm just going to press, see how that took. Might need to do another press, just making sure everything's in the right place. There we go. That's absolutely fine. So I'll just take that off, give it a bit of a wipe. Um, so we don't have, I don't even have the stamp cleaner over this side of the studio, do we? No, do you know, I've noticed the platforms there, so the station's there, but yeah. not the solution. Oh, yeah, okay. I thought, because I, I just, I, I said that the other day that we need that over there, because it is a fabulous tool to have, and it cleans your stamps instantly. A bit of good housekeeping is keep those stamps nice and clean, and they'll last you a long time. I know we often yeah. joke to saying we don't clean stamps, it gives you a better crisper image, but really we should be looking after the stamps for the longevity of them. Definitely. I'm going to be using some of the Fuchsia, ink to go water reactive ink to go around the edge and so i've got um do you want me to go back to that oh there you go boom back, back to, to the, the future, future. <laughs> um, i always have really mucky hands i don't know if anyone else does i always find it a real problem when i'm i'm crafting because my feet my hands are always really mucky and so i will normally have like a wet, wet flannel by yeah. the side of my um my my desk to, to stop everything from getting all mucky and because the uh, pearlescent shimmer ink pad is wet yeah because you can heat emboss with them yeah um it doesn't dry instantly no. so yeah you can end up with a bit of a a bit of a smudged smudged effect yeah um which is why you could dry it off in between actually if you wanted to because that sh those shimmer ink pads are beautiful they've got a lovely pearlescent shimmer to them when they're dry uh, but you can of course um Eat emboss with them, as yeah. we found out as well. So, and Cheryl Ann Brown on YouTube says she's going to try to eat emboss with the shimmer ink pads. Um, let us know what you think, Cheryl. Yeah. Uh, because I love doing that technique with them. I definitely think that's the way to go, to give everything a try, can't you? I mean, if, if it doesn't work, it doesn't matter. Um, you can just try again. So I've just put some ink around the edge and I'm going to stick that on, on top so I've got a little matte and layer um, for my centre part. But what I want to do is I just want to see if I can just colour this bit in a little bit of yellow ink just to finish that little banner off I'm using my tri blends and my brush nib just to get into all those little bit, bits and pieces around here
just to finish that off. So tie in all that yellow and pink together. And you get, you can lay down quite a lot of colour with this brush, ink pad, um, ink pad and um, pen. Okay, all the way across. And then I'll just use a slightly darker colour um, in here and just there as well. So we now, now need to just put that as a mat and layer with the yellow. Why, where's the day gone? I know it's flown by, Becky. Can't believe how fast the day has gone. It's been an incredibly busy day. It's been a very fun-filled day as well, and I'm loving, uh, loving watching you work on the paper craft side now, as well as we have done with the sewing. Just oh, I've got right a name place. as well. That shows you how name. fast it's coming. I've got a wow. name. I'm going to keep you hanging on, though, in sus suspenders. What the heck? <laughs> I'm going to keep you hanging on in suspension. Wait a minute, is it suspension? Suspense. Suspense. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. I can't even blame lack of sleep, Becky. I had a really good night's sleep last night. What on earth? Did you go to bed late last night? I, I did. go to bed very early. I am, I am, a, I am a late ri uh, a late riser. I am a late a goer to bed. I, I'm a bit of a night owl. So I think everyone laughs at me because by about nine o'clock I go right. I'm going to oh, go and have were, my bath you were, now. You were yeah. half past nine. You were gone. Yeah. Went, I'm ever so sorry, Debbie, but I need to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, I, at home I go to bed really early anyway because I tend to get up at five. Yeah. Um, and uh, well, even when I'm here, well, when I'm here I sleep a little bit better. I sleep a bit longer. I think it's because I know I can't do anything. You were still up early to... though. Um, yeah, about seven I think yeah. I got up, something like that, yeah. which I thought was quite late. Um, so I'm going to just start matting and layering. So I want this piece to go in here. I've just put a bit of ink around the edges just to soften um, the edges using that fuchsia. Um, and I've also got um, some mats and layers here with um, this sort of a yellow... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Yellow linen cardstock and some of the stripy um, cardstock as well. And so these pieces, these triangular pieces, are just going to go over here. And then I'm going to put these other um, mat and layers, these stripes, down the side here. So I'm just going to start building that up. What is your go-to colour when you make a card, Debbie? Ooh, I suppose it depends on the mood I'm in. Because the, I, I am, I'm not going to lie, I'm drawn to purples and teals, um, those kind of colours and pinks. Um, but I've been doing a, quite a few recently of greens because the green oh, okay. um, has uh, just been appealing to me. But I, I suppose it depends on the mood because I know we were talking about this earlier with your fabrics and you were saying that you're drawn yeah. to blue. Yeah. Um, are you, because I'm loving this because I love bright and beautiful as well. Yeah. Clean and simple has its place. Monochrome has its place. Bright and colourful has its place. But I think it depends on your mood, doesn't it? But I'm loving where you're going with this. Have yeah, you got a particular I think, style? I, I, I sometimes think yellow and reds remind me of that famous burger place uh, because it's like th those classic colors but I always think it, it's really sort of bright and happy colors yes. um, yellows and reds um, I will definitely like that and I like a brightly colored card because then I think it notices on the shelf um, I did um, I used I had some of that wisteria um, paper collection my mate I used some of it as wrapping paper actually because I didn't have any wrapping paper and um, everyone was just like my god that's amazing and I did think maybe we should start doing wrapping paper Oh, there's our paper pads. I think, I think people would quite like mm -hmm. that. Um, and we're going to pop that into the centre here. Um, on a, I'm just going to use this piece of um, yellow as my um, mats here and pop that in there. I think we stick to a certain colour pal palette, don't we? We do, when yeah. When we're making things. Yeah. It also depends on when people ask you to make things on the kind of... Because I always, if, if everybody asks me to make or something, I'll always ask them questions. What would you like? What kind of colour theme would you like? And that, because your take on something might not always necessarily be somebody else's take on something. Yeah. So yeah, just yeah, I think it, it's one of those, isn't it, where you um, work out that kind of thing. But I love colour, full stop. So for me, any kind of colour is fabulous. And I'm loving this because I do love bright colours, and this is a beautiful one. Loving that. Definitely inspired by your uh, Kathy, Kath, Kate. Um, actually, I'd say this is more Kath Kidston. Oh. Do you think Kath is quite Kath Kidstonish? Oh, I love Kath. I uh, love. Yeah. I love pranks I like as Kidston. well. Yeah, that's that's a good one. I'm loving this, Becky. Though it's looking really, really lovely. Really lovely. So a few. Um, I'm going to have to use this, I'm afraid. Yeah, just um, remind me to back that form and that knife, won't you? That I need to put it back because yeah. 
But uh, the, we've got, you're we've really got worried evidence. about getting into trouble, aren't we've you, Debbie? Got, well, it'll be me that gets into trouble because I've actually gone on air that lives forever on the YouTube <laughs> and on the Facebooks. So if, if I wanted to get played Detective or Miss Marple or whatever it is, Agatha Christie, it's going to find <laughs> out straight away that it was me that did it. Absolutely. So I need to definitely go and put that back. So just remind me that afterwards. Right, just going to put a few um, foam pads or um, foam tape on there. And then I'm just going to get that in the middle. And then I've got a few gems to put on either side. And we're going to have a gem. One. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think generally speaking, there should be gems everywhere. Um, all over me. Um, I just think gems make everything better. They do. They have that bit of sparkle. We're going to have to um, do a vote after this, if that's OK, yeah. Becky, for demo of the show, because we also have a demo of the day to get in. And also, I'm going to tell you who has won um, well, I'm saying who's won, who's been pulled out um, from all the names that have been commenting on Facebook and YouTube and who will be going into the draw. And I don't mean the draw, draw as in putting you in a draw and shutting you away. I mean the draw <laughs> where we were going to be drawing on Monday night um, for someone to win and somebody will win on Monday night, £200 or $200 to go onto their account and spend. <gasps> Becky, I love that. There I do, go. that's lovely, and I love the quirkiness of it. And um, uh, a lot of people have been agreeing as well because Camille said, wow, colouring that in, that banner has made it pop. And yes. it absolutely has. Uh, and that's a lovely example of something that you can be doing with your stamps, uh, with your platforms and things like that. And we'll talk about some of those in a second. But I'm just going to do a quick vote, if we can, Becky. Yep. Could you line up your mix, please, of uh, what you've done this evening? Um, and um, start with, oh, gosh, start from the beginning, yeah. Well, sunburnt piggy. <laughs> <laughs> the hot hog card which is number one we've got the little bag which is number two and then this final red and yellow one um, oh. which is number three <clears throat> that's a bit odd i don't know mm. oh my gosh i think i'm gonna go with number two myself Are personally you? yeah i think i'm drawn to the color but i do love number one for the for the pigs, of course. <laughs> but I love number three for the colour too, so it's going to be a tough one. Okay. Uh, we're going to give you a chance to vote, um, and I'm also going to um, go over a couple of little deals that we've got because this is a stamping masterclass after all, um, and you need the right tools. We've talked about inks, we've talked about stamps, but what about the platforms that you need? Now, some of our things have already gone. Again, we've been having sellout after sellout today, let me just tell you. Um, but I've got a couple of deals for you. I'll start, shall I start with the smallest one, Nicola? Do you want me to start with the small? Um, so we've got you a little bundle that we can put together. Now, this will be a personal choice. It may be that you want a gift for yourself or a gift to somebody else in your life uh, that loves stamping. Uh, but we have got our 4x4 four four platform with our stamping mat. Um, and this is the foam mat. Now, in this bundle that you're seeing on the screen for $9.99 or $14.99, and lowest price you'll pay today is £7.99 or $11.99, you're paying for your stamping platform. You've got your spring loaded legs. They're non slip, so it means the little feet underneath are non slip. Uh, the measuring grid, you've got your imperial and your metric, or in my language, centimeters and inches. Um, <clears throat> you've also got um, this is the perfect stamping platform for any stamps. So, any acrylic stamps, any photopolymer, even the grey unmounted ones, you just need a bit of spray or something to glue onto the back there to hold it into place. And it's going to work perfectly with. And what you're getting for free in this deal is the stamping mat. And that's our stamping mat that is, um, again, grid. You've got places and markings on there. You've got your centimetres and your inches. This is a big one to work with as well. It's eight millimetres thick as well. And it's going to be perfect for all your stamping platforms. And it's the right density. Is that the right word I'm looking for? The right density to be able to get a crisp, even stamp every single time. So that's the first bundle that you're seeing on the screen. Now... I also have another one for you. So I'm going to keep this here because I'm going to bring in the next size one, which is the six by six. So it's exactly the same, the non-slip non slip feet, and the spring-loaded legs, and the measurements on there as well. And of course, your centerpiece too. But this time it's the six by six. And is this the right price, Nicola? Did I do the wrong one in the first one with the four by four? Was it? I think I'm going to do Lally. Uh, £14.99 or $19.99. Whoopsie. Um, and then your platinum price is $11.99 or $15.99. So you're paying for this. I'm getting that free. Um, so that is your 6x6 six six one as well. Now then, what was the other one? The Hero Tool. 
the one that Becky's been using all night, which is the eight by eight. It's the largest one we do, but this time with a magnetic base. You've got your four magnets on there that are gonna hold your projects, your stencils, your stamps, and everything else to it. It gives precise, consistent stamping every single time. For precision stamping, it is absolutely incredible. If you've got dexterity problems, this is the one to go for, and you will not fail with your stamping with this bad boy in your life 17.49 tonight or 27 dollars 96 minus off your club membership the lowest today this is amazing 13 pounds 99 or 22 dollars 37 ask anybody who owns one they'll all tell you the same thing it's a game changer in the world of stamping so that is an absolute stellar must in anybody's craft room and i absolutely love mine and wouldn't part with it for a million pounds or would i i love it though i'm not but, gonna but lie, debbie, but debbie if I give me a million pounds, pounds and i could buy you two more <laughs> I'm generous like that. You Not just one, but two. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to read a couple of comments, if I may, before I announce the winner of today's comments. So it's going to be going in that draw. Um, we oh, we have got a demo. Oh yes, we'll do that first. Actually, we've got a demo of the show, which goes to two Woo! the bag. Ooh, this one. Woo! Now it's going to be the battle of the bags. The battle of the bags. The battle of the bags. Shall I bring this over to you? Thank you very much. Thank you, Becky. Um, I personally think this is going to be a, <laughs> a landslide boat. So we're just going to go straight in with... Oh, my God. Nicola, what do we do to sabotage the boat? <laughs> <laughs> Number one is the fabulous drawstring backpack bag. Oh, is it over the shoulder? Wait a minute. So the show is crossover, crossover, crossover one, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. The fabric on this is to die for. Of course, you can get hold of that beautiful fabric from earlier as well. If you're going for that one clip wonder from the softer side, that beautiful fabric is in there as well. That's number one. And then number two, what you've just seen when demo of the, sh uh, demo of the sh show uh, is the gorgeous bag. So it's battle of the bags. Number one or number two, get voting right now. One thing is clear. Becky will win today, for sure. Yay! Uh, <laughs> now, ready for little drum roll, please. I can't do this The name one. is Patricia Day. Yay! You are going into, and I'm so sorry about this. I hope you can see it on there, because I can't see it on the black, on the purple, but Patricia Day. Bing! You're in with a chance to win. The £200, $200 that myself and Craig will draw on Monday night. So well done for that as well. Uh, loads of lovely comments as well. Um, sorry, sorry, Rach. She's going, demo of the day, demo of the day. <laughs> I do apologise. I know we're running out of time, um, but I am... <laughs> um, I'll tell you in a second. Uh, such a cute little card, Becky. It really was. Um, Oh, this is lovely. Look at this. There you go, Becky. Precision paper cutting from a sewing expert. Thanks for the guillotine tip of what angle cutting with your previous card from lovely Susan Griffiths. Uh, we do uh, Nash on YouTube. Debbie, I love and appreciate you. Encourage and affirm Becky with her paper crafting. Becky, kudos to you. You're doing a great job. You inspire me, a beginner crafter. Oh, thank you. And do you know what? That's lovely to read. The comments have yeah. been lovely today. We've really appreciated every single one. Um, demo of the day, Nick. So sorry. I knew it would. <laughs> there you go, Yay. Becky. The bag. The, the bag, bag that caused the headache, yeah. but the bag that she persevered <laughs> with, and let me tell you, whipped it up in no time the minute the camera stopped rolling. <laughs> so absolutely, the eyelet was the problem. But it was Becky. She's not had enough Weetabix today, let me tell you. <laughs> so absolutely incredible and well worthy of the demo of the day and going into demo of the week. Oh, that's exciting. Are you here I'm here tomorrow so I can sabotage everybody else. You can else's sabotage sure your heart's content and you can claim that next star. You <laughs> absolutely can. Becky, can I just say thank you? I, I mean, genuine from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very much. It's been a fabulous oh, day. I've loved you. every minute spending with you. Chit chatting last night. Yeah. In the car this morning. And then the rest of the day has been just fabulous and I've loved it. And can I just say thank you so much? You've been incredible. Oh. I'll, covering not just sewing but covering the paper craft side oh, as well thank you so much and it does help so much having someone like you as 
as no, as part of the team that, that when I'm I, I'm a bit confused about something or I'm not sure I'm not sure about something, you're always there to give me a sort of helping oh. hand. And I think that's a great thing about being here because everyone sort of helps each other. There's no sort of like ego is there. Everyone's here to help each other. So thank you very much and thanks for all the kind comments. It makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. <laughs> and Becky will be here tomorrow because she's going to be this side. I am. Um, she, uh, she, uh, st steering, not shearing, yeah. steering. <laughs> we'll be shearing some sheep later on. <laughs> Seriously. Is it nearly eight o'clock? <laughs> Seriously. Um, it's been a fabulous day. But yeah, Becky will be on this side tomorrow. And the lovely Lily is in as craft expert tomorrow where we have got a first look. Yeah. And I think that's at 11 a.m. Yeah, at the template library. Uh, the, is, is it? Uh -huh. Does Craig know? <laughs> uh, no, I don't think he does know. I don't know. Smumfy Smom. Smumfy Smom, Nicola. Oh, something that rhymes with Smumfy Smom. Oh, that's the first look. Is that what's the first look? Oh. oh. Two? Two oh. first looks? Mm -hmm. Don't tell Craig. Mike, it's his own fault. He's on beach at Cornu Street. Yeah. It's, his own, it's his own fault. Uh, but it's the first look, so you're going to get a sneaky peek. And I know Lily is beyond excited. And then this Second Chance Sunday. And I believe yeah. the middle show is a... Craft just Craft box. Craft Vault, more bargains galore. Yeah. So you do make sure you tune in tomorrow to that as well. I'm going to say a big shout out to the lovely Nicola and James who are in the gallery who have been uh, looking after us all day. Uh, to the fabulous Sam as well because he's been an absolute star. He's been fetching us loads of drinks all day. Um, so I, I really do appreciate that, Sam. You're doing a stellar job. And it must be busy because I've barely seen him since he fetched those <laughs> drinks in. God love him. And to our lovely Rachel who's been with us for the last two shows. Uh, I myself am heading down south because I've got a day down at Hobby Maker tomorrow, but I will be back up here on Monday afternoon where I've got two shows. So I was going to be on um, the first one, but I'm on for the last two with the gorgeous Hottie Scotty from Carnoustie himself. <laughs> A lovely Craig. Uh, so whatever you're doing for the rest of the evening, also what I'd like to say is stay safe. Um, happy crafting to you all. Big craft yugs as well from everybody here. Uh, continuing to celebrate our fourth year anniversary here at Crafters Tea. Here's to many, many more. Uh, so thank you very much and we'll see you all soon. Bye for now.